Hello everybody, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello everybody, how do you do? God loves you today. Good morning friends, or good afternoon whenever you see it. This is Pastor Care and the faith that we share with Pastor Care. Let's sing that song one more time. Hello, Hello everybody, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello everybody, how do you do? God loves you today. God does love you today, and God loves you every day. And I want to tell you a secret. God loves you no matter whether you're good or bad, naughty or nice. God loves you all the time, just like you are. Today we're going to talk about a very special book. Some of you will know the name of this book. I'll bet Jocelyn knows it. Owen might know it. Some of you know this. This is called the Bible. Can you all say that? The, the Bible. Bible. The Bible is a book that tells us about Jesus and God and how much they love us. The Bible is like having a whole library in one book. Some of you have been to the library before where there's hundreds of books, but there's many books in the Bible. The Bible's divided into two parts, the Old Testament, which talks about life before Jesus, and the New Testament, which talks about Jesus' life. Over the next many weeks, we will be telling stories out of the Bible, stories that help you know how much God loves you and how much Jesus came to help us, to heal us, to make us better. So I want you to remember that. And hopefully, many of you have a story Bible at home. It doesn't need to be this one, although I know some of you have this Bible. But ask your mom or your dad or some grown-up in your life that when you have enough money saved, you could get a story Bible. And that way you'll learn all the stories. And just an FYI for the grown-ups in your life, the story Bible is a great way to learn the Bible. It's way easier than trying to read the whole scripture word for word as it was written. Not that that's not a good thing, but a story Bible is a great first chance. So the Bible tells us many things that God made us, that God loves us, that Jesus died and then rose again on Easter. We talked about that last week. The Bible also tells us that people who love God and believe in God can pray to God, can say anything they want to God in any way, any time. And remember that God loves us just as we are. So let's close today by saying a prayer to God. Today, let's fold our hands like this and say, good morning, God. Good morning, good morning God. God. We love you. We, we love, love you. you. Thank you for loving us. Thank, Thank you, you for loving us. us. Thank you for sending us the Bible. Thank, Thank you, you for, for sending us, us the Bible. Bible. Help us have a happy week. Help, Help us, us have, have a happy, happy week. week. We love you, God. We love, we love you, God. God. Amen. Amen. Amen.